So, welcome once again everybody to another Shade video. I am of course Shade, and uh, it has been a while, and today we are looking at one of my favourite games of all time, Star Wars Rogue the Leader. So, we're just going to start off right away. I started on a memory card that has no save data at all, so... Because I have occasionally used the cheat code or two in one of my other save files on the other memory card, so we're just going to go straight legit with this one. And that we don't have a certain somebody to bungle things up. Cough. Pixie. Cough. Uh huh. I am joking, of course. No, not really. Anyway, let's uh, name ourselves Shade. Well, there's only three letters, so... So we're going to be Should. We're going to be Captain Should of uh, the Rebellion. Although, personally, I always serve the Empire. So this is the first mission. We could go for Tatooine training, but I'm not going to because you don't really get anything out of that except the for Death Naboo Starfighter. Star firing range of Yavin base. Destroy the large deflection towers on the surface, and the Tie Fighters defending the approach to the trench. Fly down the trench and fire your proton torpedoes when you're within range of the exhaust port. Thank you, Captain Exposition. That's very helpful. Get into the ye old X Wing. Everybody loves the X Wing. Well, not everybody loves the X Wing, but most people love the X Wing, so you know. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ooh, ah, never get tired of that fanfare. Like, really, just love it every single time. Ah. Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader It is a period of civil war. The Rebel Alliance is preparing a major attack against the evil Empire. Launching from a hidden base on the fourth moon of Yavin, the Alliance forces hope to re destroy the Death Star, an armored space station with enough power to decimate an entire planet. Luke Skywalker and Wedge Antilles, two young rebel recruits, have joined the Alliance in a brave attempt to restore freedom to the galaxy. Oh boy. So I love how every single Star Wars game has a text crawl. Like, um, really, even going back all the way to like the 90s games with like Super Star Wars and the uh, X-Wing and everything, you know, they always have an opening crawl. Sometimes it's 16-bit, sometimes it's like this, but you know. And this came out on the GameCube in 2001, so this was when they could actually simulate to the uh, text crawl music without sort to synth or, you know, all keyboard right, things. Him. Red 10 standing by. Red 7 standing by. Uh, Red 3 standing by. Red 6 standing by. Red 9 standing by. Red 2 standing by. Red 11 standing by. Red 5 standing by. Lock air spoils in attack position. And there's the Death Star as we rapidly approach it. Looking forward to it. Watch yourself. There's a lot of fire coming from the right side of that deflection tower. I copy, Red Leader. We've got to destroy those deflection towers. My TV screen is really Leader, dark, so covered. it's uh, going, it's going to be a bit more covered. tricky than usual. I don't expect to get a gold medal on the first try, though, so... Big switch, follow me! Draw that surface fire away from me! Hold on, Luke, I'm on my way! Let's just keep getting on these towers, oh yeah. Great shot, Luke! Thank you, Wedge. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy when my wingman uh, can compliment me on my shooting skills. It's just, it just feels good. I cannot see a damn thing right now. There it is. Oops. 
going in the wrong direction for a second. But it does matter, you know, we fight it ourselves. As we do all the time. One more to go. Draw that surface fire away from me. We'll take care of the guns, Luke. Group leader, this is base one. Keep half your group out of range for the next run. Squad leaders, we've picked up a new group of signals. Enemy fighters coming your way. Now the TIE fighters. First I need to get a shield upgrade. You've received the advanced shield tech upgrade. Yeah, I know. Draw that surface fire away from me! He said my wingman after the gun guns, room. because, you know, they just bungle everything up otherwise. Ah, uh, there are TIE fighters. But you are designed to die, don't... Just think it's harder on yourself if you don't. That's one group. There's another group. You got you. I got several of them, that's nice. I got one as it was passing by, that was fun. Where are you? Draw that surface fire away from me! Ah, there they are. We'll take care of the guns, Luke. Oh, did you see that? He just flew away. The guy's just unprofessional, like, you know, just breaking formation like that. Like, really? I mean, come on. So, I'm not really sure what these TIE fighters are even trying to do right now, either. Like, just kind of just flying around aimlessly. Like, you know, not that I'm complaining, you know, because they... You know, it makes them easier to kill, but still. I mean, come on, like, actually do something, guys. I'm just like, and no, randomly shooting does not count as doing something. I mean, no, really, no one of the Empires like losing to a bunch of schnucks. I mean, they keep finding all these idiots. Nice shot! I'm not sure how Reg knew I took that shot, you know, seeing he's, like, focusing on the guns. Fire away from me. I'm on it, Luke! Oh, no. No. Get back in. You. Bad time. Good shot, Luke! There's the next group, come on. Ah, I couldn't get them. Oh, where are you? Where are they? Back. Back, where are they? God damn it. Oh, there's one group. Fantasy. There we go. Got him. Two more to go. I can't screw it up that formation. Draw that surface fire away from me. I'm going in. Oh, there they are. And it's hard where they went. Ah. So hard to see in, on this uh, TV screen. I used to have a TV screen that was like really bright. There we go. Get ready for your attack run. And then we go for the trench run. Now, as a kid, I really hated this uh, mission. Like I just despised it. You know, just because I didn't it's know how to wedge. kill the Tie Fighters. Right with you, Luke. We'll stay back far enough to cover you. I actually know how, what to do now, you know, just to... Because I, I always had trouble, like, avoiding all these beams. But, you know, in retrospect, they actually aren't that difficult to avoid, it's just annoying. And really, I do prefer to, um, throw in the first rogue squadron. But, you know, that kind of sucks. That kind of sucked, I should say. Going. I also know that the time uh, bonus in this is a real bitch to get for like the gold medal. Because like you have to like uh, kill most of the guns in the trench all at the uh, same time. 
I can't stay with you. Well, at the same uh, time, you have to like finish it really quickly, so that sucks. Hurry up, Luke! <laughs> yeah, this is the part that I really hate as a kid. Oh, oh. I need him. I'm pretty sure they just like crashed into each other there as well, so. That seems kind of bad. I think there's one more that's going to try and get me. The force is strong with this one. Oh, never mind, it's just Darth Vader. And he's easy to avoid. Use the force, Luke. See? See, you can't shoot for shit. Huh. I think does that count as a rhyme. I guess it counts as a rhyme. You switched off your targeting computer. What's wrong? Nothing. Everyone hit me. Wasting the time. Forget about it. Thank you, Han. Yeah, I think I shoot once I can actually see the uh, end. And will that go in first time? Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Come on. There we go. Yay. Applause, happiness. And all that good shit. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh, bronze medal right out, out the gate. That's that's pretty good, I'll say. Yeah. Time wasn't that it's a great, but you know, that usually happens on the first run. And uh, you know, 62 enemies of 52, 48 percent shot accuracy. That's actually pretty damn good. And I did not lose a single life. And of course, I almost never use my targeting computer. So you know. You go. But anyway, that's it for this uh, first uh, mission, and I will go on to the second. I'll see you guys then.